Hello, friend. Mormozine here. Today I'm doing Anthropomantics, Fiends, uh, Heavy Horror Tag. And uh, this is my first time doing a tag video. I know I'm going to mess it up, but I believe the first question was um, what's a band that's like really does horror well? And my choice here is Nim Vind, which is a uh, horror punk band. They do a song called Killing Saturday Night. That's probably, that would definitely be in my top three songs of all time. And uh, they're really cool. They're kind of like goth punk or something, but just super like awesome melodic punk music. And uh, with a dark edge and dark music videos. And they dress all in black and everything. And um, they're horror without having lyrics that sound like they came out of a TV guide or something. So they're not just rehashing the plots of horror movies. They're like creating something new and a new style and a new uh, kind of vibe and everything their their uh music videos look like horror movies without copying horror movies or like uh tributing horror movies or whatever you want to call it but uh my favorite horror band is nim Vin. definitely check them out check out their song uh killing saturday night this the second tag i didn't really understand so i'm just gonna say uh my favorite use of metal music in a horror movie is, uh, and this is cheating, I'm cheating on this one, but uh, it's, I think it's a great example, is the movie AI, and it's um, the scene where Ministry is playing in the middle of the arena where they're like killing and torturing all the robots and stuff. Ministry is my favorite band of all time. I've seen them a couple times on stage. They're an industrial band, industrial metal, and I've just always been a huge fan of theirs. And AI is not exactly horror, but it sits right next to horror on the shelf. It's a dark fantasy, and uh, it's it's definitely has horror themes. I think it's like a horror slash sci-fi. It's like a little kind of a mix but anyways it's a rad movie and ministry is rad and uh and uh i don't know i probably did the tag wrong other than that recently uh i saw this movie called um holland road massacre the legend of the pig man and i reviewed it on my main channel and uh it had quite a bit of good heavy metal music in it like death metal or whatever and then a while ago and i barely remember this i watched a movie on netflix that was about a man who was a painter and he was painting this big mural but um and there was like ghosts or something like that but him and his whole family all listened to metal music and uh it was on netflix it was a pretty rad movie i forget what it was called it had a it had a big star in it too that that i i really like but um i can't remember what it's called anyways this i want to do a, a quick message to anthropomedic fiend uh, he recently subscribed to my channel and left a few comments and mentioned that he didn't have a business, but that something or another. And I wanted just to make a quick message to say, if you're interested in turning your channel into a business, I got a tip for you. Uh, I'm not an affiliate in any way, so this isn't me trying to get make money off you or get money from you. Or anything like that. I just know a good way to earn money online. And uh, I think it would work for your channel. And I'll give you like four examples of ways it could work. And what it would be is using a website called Gumroad. 
and uh, I have my own Gumroad store. It's a, it's it's uh you 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 start an account, and then you get a store where you can sell digital products. So you can sell like eBooks, audios, videos, software, games, presets, pictures, anything you want really, and um. I sell movies on there. I make movies and sell them on Gumroad. And I've gotten a direct deposit into my bank account from Gumroad. So I know that they're legit and that they do pay out. And uh, there's no fee to use the website or have a store. And then when you get a sale, they take like 8.5% of the sale plus 30 cents of your sale. So it's really reasonable and you don't have to pay up front. You don't have to pay monthly, which is really nice. And like I said, I've made money through them and gotten a legit payment. So I know that they're legit. And, uh, and so, and so I make movies to sell there. An example, number one of a movie I've made it's called iMormo, and you can go to iMormo.com to see it for free. And uh, it's basically a very personal story talking about my personal life. But I kind of put a real spooky spin on it, and I'm all painted up and in costume and stuff. So it's kind of like a spooky movie about my life. And and uh, and I'm, and when I made it, I was already an old man, like in my mid-30s or whatever. But so, uh, but basically what I did was like, just take index cards and then write notes about my life, interesting things that happen, details and stuff. And then as I was filming, I just looked into the camera and went through the notes and expanded and told my story and everything. So there's one premium option because what I'm saying is that you can make like, your regular YouTube content and then premium content that you sell. And uh, so a personal movie is one way to go. Uh, you can make a montage movie where you go onto your YouTube channel and look for videos that haven't gotten a view in the last 28 days. And if no one's watching them, you download them from YouTube, uh, make them unlisted on your channel and then just edit them all together into one long movie. And you can even shoot new footage of you kind of talking about the video and like hosting footage. Just turn it into an hour 30 video or, um, or uh, I don't know, 70 minutes or whatever, but like a feature length video call it a movie and put it up for sale and then you um just drop a link on your youtube videos and give them a shout give it a shout out and stuff they call it a call to action and uh another option is to do plr and that's where you buy the rights to somebody else's videos and you can like buy training videos and then you host the videos and give your own feedback and input that's something I do and you you can make a feature length video and sell it for at a premium price that's another way and there was a fourth way too I, I thought of um well you could make a real movie but that's like super hard but you could also um oh you could do public domain you could go on archive.org and find a crappy old horror movie and then you just add additional footage of you talking about the movie like at the beginning maybe every 15 minutes you take a break and like talk to people about the movie and give your feedback and that's more like traditional horror hosting what they used to do on tv years ago and still do in some places there's still a few horror hosts on tv but um so anyways, there's four examples of ways that you can create premium content that you charge a price for, and it's up to you to set your own price. Um, keep in mind that Gumroad doesn't pay out until you make over 10 bucks. So like ideally you're charging like seven bucks 
a movie. And that way, when you get two sales, then you get paid out into your bank account. But anyways, there's four examples of premium content you could create and then sell through this website called Gumroad. And uh, if you want, you can ask me any questions and I can drop you a link to where you can see um, my Gumroad store and see what I'm doing and stuff. But uh, and it's free to join. Like I say, I'm not affiliated. This isn't about me making money off of you. I'm just trying to help other people to make money. That's how your business grows. And eventually money comes to you is when you help other people. So anyways, sorry if I messed up the horror tag. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks so much.